Okay folks, welcome to yet another interesting review video on this channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Bitcoin slash forest trading company known as Ride to the Future. This review is yet another special request made by one of our subscribers by the name Eshua Visakan some few weeks back in the comment section of one of our older videos. So if there are investment platforms you want us to review on this channel, please leave them in the comment section and we'll get back to you guys very shortly. In this review video, we shall be discussing the evolutionary journey of Ride to the Future. Highlighting with unbiased disposition the possible red flags and finally take a stand as I normally do on review videos on this channel. Rating it on a scale of 0 to 100, 0 representing a completely untrustworthy investment platform and 100 representing safe to invest. This review will center on the background, the company registration, nature of the company, support, review with scamdog and scamadvisor.com, social media presence, company products, composition plan, conclusion. But before I head into the video proper, if you are new to this channel, on this channel we review businesses, websites and apps, we talk about how to make money online, and finally we discuss investments and personal finance. So if all that sounds good to you, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be informed whenever we put out new videos. Also remember to drop a like on this video, it helps out this channel tremendously and it takes only a second to do. Thanks as you do so and with that out of the way, let's head straight into today's video. This is one of the latest network marketing companies to pop up in the forex bitcoin niche. This company claims it generates its external income through forex and cryptocurrency trading. R2F says it deployed cutting edge artificial intelligence software to trade on bitcoin and forex for their members. They claim they have years of expertise in trading on various platforms across forex, cryptocurrencies, commodities and asset management. When I checked on their website, they didn't provide any corporate address, only a virtual address. However, a video on their website stated that its head office is in Tower Bank, Financial Center, 50th Elvira Street, Panama City, Panama. The CEO of the company is Nero Segura. She has a bachelor's degree in social communication and journalism and public relations with the Ministry of Economy and Finance of the Republic of Panama. She is also a communication consultant for the United Nations. She is a public affairs counselor, counseling clients with issues related to government relations, lobbying, monitoring of laws related to companies and industries. Summarily, according to her LinkedIn profile, she claims to be a corporate communication consultant based out of Panama. According to whois.com, R2F was registered on the 11th of April 1995, with a domain expiration date to be 12th of April 2028. The domain was last objected on the 31st of July 2020. This suggests that R2F has a lasting domain name, a huge pass mark in my opinion. Scamadvisor.com was unable to rate the domain at all, giving it a trust score of 0%, while Scamdog.com rated the domain very low with a trust score of 8%, warning that the owner of the domain decided to keep his name hidden, and the domain name is linked to one or more countries known for being used by fraudulent websites. R2F has a prolific social media presence. They are present on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The official Facebook account cites itself as an internet marketing service in Frankfurt, Germany. A prominent social media presence is a huge plus since it is a sign of online visibility. However, I wouldn't put too much weight on this since all these accounts can be closed in the blink of an eye if R2F turns out to be a scam. Sadly, Right to the Future has no retail products. All you can do is either invest or promote affiliate membership. They do claim, however, to provide a service that is assisting investors to trade, but the lack of transparency in their trading records, company staff, or trading technology makes this claim a little bit shaky. Aside from the service which they claim to provide, which is on a controversial standing, R2F could purely be a pyramid scheme and would not qualify as an MLM company, at least in my opinion, because according to the FTC, any company needs more retail sales than affiliate sales to be considered a legal MLM company, but R2F falls short by not having any retail sales at all. All legit MLMs have retail products that can be sold to customers directly, but in R2F there are no direct customer sales. There are different investment packages in R2F, ranging from a $99 investment package all the way up to a $99,999 investment package. Right to the future affiliates invest in Bitcoin on a promise that they can get up to 1.25% daily ROI. Firstly, all Bitcoin transactions are untraceable and irreversible, meaning they can literally run away with your money and there is nothing you can do about it. Secondly, 1.25% daily translates to about 37.5% monthly and in turn 450% yearly, which just sounds astronomical to me. 
Anyone who understands the stock market or the cryptocurrency market very well knows that it is impossible to guarantee consistent earnings for oneself, especially in the cryptocurrency market, not to talk about guaranteeing such returns for every single investor. I think R2F has some upsides to it, which include the transparency of its founders, robust social media presence, and more. But there are some red flags I simply cannot ignore, which includes a lack of proof of trading. I haven't seen any third-party accounting to verify their trades. Because right to the future is an investment opportunity, it's considered a securities offering. Securities in Germany are regulated by Baffin. Right to the future is not registered with Baffin, so it's operating illegally. Panama also has a securities commission. However, it is not regulated and very scam friendly. Aside from this, which, by the way, is sufficient for me to run away from investing here, their ridiculous promises on ROI are simply suspicious. I am not saying that it is impossible to get a 450% ROI in a year, but the only ways I know are either building your own company or investing in the next Airbnb, Netflix, Uber, and the likes. When the company blows up, you can easily get way more than 1000% ROI on your investments. It seems to me that right to the future is another crypto Ponzi committing securities fraud. I could be wrong, but I would sincerely not put my money here unless it is money that I can afford to lose. Giving their clients 1.25% daily presupposes that they make way more than that on a daily basis, and that doesn't seem practical to me. Again, a company that is out to make profits ought to be public, but it is impossible to register or get involved with R2F without an invitation, which doesn't make much sense to me. I am forced to give R2F a 30% rating, based on the reasons I've already stated. I feel once the recruitment of investors slow down, the company will go under and goodbye to all investments made by investors. So far, this happens 100% of the time with schemes like this. But these are just my thoughts, and I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section. If you made it through to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and loved ones. I'll see you guys in the next video, my friends. Cheers. Mm -hmm.